Okay? So what is that equal to? Uh, two this is going to be two two point four times uh, one twenty is going to be what is that two eighty huh sine squared of this and then that's in watts. Okay, so if I wanted to know the instantaneous power across the resistor at any time, I would do 288 times sine squared of whatever that is. But what if I want to know the average power over one cycle? Okay, so really what matters is the average power, not necessarily instantaneous at any time. Okay? What's the average power that uh, is dissipated across the resistor? How would I find the average power? Well, I need to do 288 times the average of the sine squared function over one cycle. Let, let, let me just write this way. Uh, or let, let me write it this way, hold on. Average of the sine squared function over one cycle, you know. So here's a result we can borrow from calculus. What is the average of the sine squared function? Anyone remember doing that or do, doing something like that? What's the average of any function? It's uh, integral f of x dx from a to b over b minus a, right? So if I want to find the integral of the sine squared function, the average of the sine squared function, sine squared x dx from 0 to what's the one cycle? Uh, 2 pi, right? Over 2 pi. That's how you find the average of the sine squared function. It really doesn't matter what's, in, what's the inside of the sine squared, what's inside of the parentheses. It's going to have the same average. So uh, you have to integrate sine squared, okay? Or we could just simply use our TI calculators, okay? So go to your uh, FN int, and I'm going to do. Sine of x quantity squared. That's it, right? Sine of x quantity squared, comma, 0, comma, 2 pi. Right? That's it. Enter. No, hold on. saying error for some reason here. Let me see your mode. Is anybody uh, get an answer? Huh? This one? Point zero two five. Point zero two five one, some arbitrary number. Let's see, sine of x. Oh, 
Oh, you know what I forgot? Oh, okay, hold on. I forgot to put the X. X, comma, wow, that's weird. How did I forget that? Two, high. Oh, there it is, 3.1415. It's pi. Yeah. So the average of the sine squared function is, uh, the integral is pi, and pi over 2 pi is 1 half. So the average of the sine squared function is 1 half. So that means the power t average is uh, 288 times 1 half, which is 144 watts. That's the average cycle if we're using a common source, okay, and if the resistance is 100. But how can I generalize that result? How can I generalize that result? Let me uh, generalize it. Let me just write this as V max. This is, v, uh, this one was V max, right? This one was I max. So power T is V max I max sine squared of something. And then power average came out what? Power average came out 120 times 1 1.2 is 144, right? Uh, so power average came out uh, V max I max divided by 2. That's the more general way, right, of saying it. Now, how could I rewrite that so that it looks like the DC equation? Okay, the, in the DC, in DC source, power in the DC source is just VI, right? How could I rewrite that so that this one looks like some voltage times some, times some, uh, some current? Okay, here's how I can rewrite it. Right. V max over root 2 times I max over root 2. So I can split up this 2 as a radical to radical 2. And now I can define something, call it whatever, V. And that something will represent the equivalent of the V in the DC voltage. So this will represent this. And then this thing is going to represent that. So whatever you call this thing, the name doesn't matter. That's what the voltmeter measures. That's the effective voltage. And whatever this thing is, that's what the ammeter measures. And that's known as the root mean square current and the root mean square voltage. You see? So V root mean square is equal to V max over root 2. Okay? And uh, I root mean square is equal to I max over root 2. Okay. You can also call that the effective voltage. And so whenever the problem asks you what is the current uh, ammeter measure, it's always I max over root 2. And the uh, effective voltage is uh, V max over root 2. That's what the voltmeter measures. Okay, so that's the sort of like the formal proof of that. 